Hello, and welcome back to an episode of Minecraft Survival. This is part 55. Last time, we did two things. We, one, started building, or I guess we finished, or, well, no, I guess we built the entire thing. We built that tree farm over there, which was surprisingly easy. I actually originally planned for this to be the entire episode, but that didn't exactly happen. I ended up building this, as well as one other thing, which, this thing... It's not as efficient as I hoped for and that the trees don't all grow on their own. I anticipated that and that's why I started building the skeleton farm that's over here um, last time because bone meal makes it so the trees have to grow. But yeah, I was just hoping for a little bit more success with that. Uh, anyways, now for the skeleton farm. Still technically not done with it, we've gotten most of it done and that we have the actual mechanism done, which... I actually think I made a little bit of a mistake with the mechanism, and that is, uh, if we just go down here, uh, it would be, let's see, so here's the block, then you go one, then, let's see, that's where they fall, and there's one, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then five, I think I did that right, uh, so if I dug straight down here, I should come out on top of cobblestone. I'm going to also dig down here just in case. I'm trying to get right above... Ah, uh, no, I wasn't right. But I need to break out those torches. And currently, I am not in a position to do so. Okay. And it, oh, no! Uh, okay, just break out the torch. And, okay, we're good. Now, let's just kind of... Should we just drop down and go through the bottom entrance or exit? I don't know if we can. We might have to dig our way up. Okay. Just as long as no skeletons spawn while we're down here, we're good. I think there's a way out somewhere here, uh, up here. That is, if I can even do the jumps to get out. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay. And, oh wow. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff right there. Uh, where did I dig? I dug right here. I need to block this back up so there's absolutely no light in there. So, now that we have the basic mechanism, uh, now I gotta think how I wanna do this. I know I have a little path- Whoa! <laughs> this thing's just seriously fly out of there. Uh, I know I have a little path going over- I think what I'm gonna do- Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a little building here. I'll have the entrance be probably on this level. So, a little nice- little building, maybe with like a pixel art skull on the top of it, and then I'll just have, or maybe like a bone or something, I don't know, and then, these things are seriously just flying out, this is going to be super efficient, I'm very happy with this, and then I'll just have basically that will go up into a water stream that goes over a hopper, that will then send it into chests, and yeah, I might not, or might not even need like pixel art or anything, I might just make like a little shed over here, <laughs> just somewhere to store all the bones. Uh, something that could work is I could have this, or go with the same thing I was going to do, have this be the little storage area, and then kind of do something like I have over here, where I have like the entrance area, which is kind of smaller, but I might do kind of the reverse. So instead of having a smaller area be the entrance, and then the back be like bigger, and that's where everything is, on this, I'm going to have the smaller area be the storage thing, then I'll take this, like, three blocks in this direction, and then I can just have like a lounge right here where I can just leave my character, kind of like an AFK area. Ooh, I just had another idea. What if instead of, again, I know I keep changing this, but I keep having little ideas, so instead of having just a regular old um, AFK area, what if I again made this a little bit bigger and made this into a cafe? So. I <laughs> I know, I keep changing this, but I could have, like, a little bar area over here, an area over here that says, like, free bones or something, and free arrows. And then over here, I could have, like, a seating area, and yeah. I just keep making this better and better. Eventually, it's not even going to be focused around the skeleton farm, it's just going to be everything but the skeleton farm. Alright, so we have all the hoppers in place. So, if I were to fill all this up with wood, and make a little stair there so I can actually get back up if I need to, I need two more buckets of water. <laughs> I do not have enough water. 
And we can put that there, that there, that there. And now, uh, let's see, I need to put all this away, grab this, and basically just cover this up. And now, if I were to do this, then that would slowly flow over to there. Then I can cover this, and hopefully, what I'm thinking will happen, is all of the things will flow into that hopper, and everything will work. Am I correct? Oh, yep, numbers are increasing, which does mean that it is probably working properly. Thank goodness. So now I just need to somehow make this thing look good. And I just had another idea. What if I had a second floor and had a balcony on top of this? Why am I trying so hard to make my skeleton farm into a clubhouse? This project is slowly getting a little bit bigger than I expected it to be, but you know what? I am very happy with how this is turning out. So let's see, bring these up here, bring these up here. So what we got down here is we'll have, obviously this is going to be the bone area, I should probably put some stairs above that so that I can hide all of the little bits and bobs that are showing through. And we can also turn this into a little bit of a room of its own, which means now I can go ahead and put torches in here permanently. And also I think I'm going to make this room a little bit shorter. And actually, instead of putting an actual door there, I think I'm going to put some stairs and make it look all nice and fancy. It's kind of like an archway. Uh, like that. There we go. Kind of fits, kind of doesn't, but I'm leaving it. So, let's see, how do I want to be able to get up there? And the bar is going to take up, I'll have seats here, the actual bar there, some chests and things here. So that'll be one, two, three, four. So I could have a ladder here, I could also blot that out and then put a ladder there. And I'm thinking that's going to be my best option. So now I can fill in this area, which means I can cut that out. Well, actually, no, that's all going to be blocked in anyway, so I don't need to cut that out. I can just fill this whole area in. And you know what? I think it's about time that I start actually making the, um, whatchamacallit, the furniture and stuff. So what did I use for furniture in my dark oak house in here? Uh, I used spruce wood. So you know what? I'm going to use dark oak for the furniture in my the bar area, because why not? So I just put that like that, and uh, should I have something there? Or actually, should I make this all stairs? Because that might look a little bit better. Uh, yeah, that looks a little better. Then have some chairs here, and then I'll probably put like a trapdoor or something. Nah, that's fine, just leaving it open. And then, take these out. I'm going to make a couple shelves. That is, if I even can. I'm not particularly good at placing things. Okay, there we go. There we go. I have a shelf. Then I could put a couple chairs or chests just right there. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we have the little bar area set up. And you may be asking, what would I serve at this bar? Well, there's a couple things I could serve. But I'm probably just going to go with milk, honestly. It's one of the easiest things to get, and also one of the closest things, so... Yeah, this will just be a milk bar. I'm not sure if I really want to add anything else in here. I may add, like, a table here, maybe? Yeah, there we go. We have a little table. Um, is there anything else I really need to add down here? I'm not thinking there is. So now we need to head back up. I don't actually think I finished the top floor. No, I definitely did not. The only problem is, I'm just not sure what else I could really do with this. Like, this is a, kind of a weird build that I've made. Ooh, actually, never mind. Yes, I do know what I can do with this. I can, instead of having a weirdly shaped roof, I can flatten it out and just have a flat roof. And then I can have another billboard like I have on that building, the, um, where is it? Uh, oh, it's over there. The you know, sugarcane building. I can have another billboard like I have there, only this time I can instead put just like a name of some kind of bar, like the skeleton bar. And hopefully that should work just fine. So now that I actually have this little room finished, what I need to do is I need to start putting the furniture in. 
So I'm going to have a couple more chairs, a couple more tables. Is there enough room to put in, like, a fake pool table? So if I believe, or I believe I just put these all there. Uh, put this sign, just kind of like that. And put this sign at a slightly different angle, just like that. Put one, two, three, four, one, two... Uh, will that not go on top of a sign? Okay, it will, thank goodness. And the sign is just slightly taller. And then, there we go, we have a little pool table. Awesome. We have barely enough room to fit it, but you know what, it fits. So we have a little bar area down here, we have a pool table up here, we'll have some chairs out here, which doesn't even need a few fences out here. Alright, so I have a little four chair table, a two chair table, a couple lawn chairs, because that, that would be kind of funny. And yeah, I think the entirety of the interior is basically done. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is, uh, if I can fly, fly, there we go. Uh, 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 oh no, I was just barely too slow, or short, and there we go, okay. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to make a bunch of these slabs with spruce wood. I'm going to cover the entirety of the top of this with slabs minus the sides because I want it to have a little bit of depth. And then, I need to break this. Uh, let's see, where is, not really the center, but where is kind of, uh, what's, how long is this? Uh, it's 12 blocks, so if we went 1, 2, 3, 4... And maybe five in, actually. Then I could have a sign up here using some just oak wood. Let's make it maybe three blocks tall. And then I have like a little sign up there. Now I do need to write something on it. And I'm not exactly sure how I would do that. There we go. Problem solved. All I needed to do was make it look like a bone. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly the best bone in the world, but you know what? It works. So... In the process of building this thing, what have we got? And whoa, this thing's a little bit more efficient than I expected it to be. <laughs> so yeah, I guess we won't need to be worried about any bones or anything. But I sadly don't really have any glass, so I can't really put the glass in right now. So off camera, I'm gonna get some glass. I'm gonna fill in all the glass. Obviously, I'm gonna put in the front door and also lead up the trail which I still have not done with any other builds that I've made, so I really need to do that. But anyways, well, I need to sleep really quickly. That is going to be all for this time. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, um, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do. Actually, yes, I do know what we're going to do. Next time, I think we're going to go for a little bit of a wither skeleton hunt, because I really want a beacon, because I'm starting to run out of all my materials, like diamonds and stuff, so... Eventually I've got to go mining, and if I'm going to do that, I want a beacon. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.